I'm Yuto and today on Stachi I'm going to show you how to make quick and delicious teriyaki kot. Let's get straight to it. Start by taking your kot fillets. I've just washed and dried these and now I'm going to cut them into large bite sized pieces. Kot is quite a delicate and flaky type of fish so it's important not to cut the pieces too small. Although this is a kot recipe, teriyaki is really versatile and the flavour goes perfectly with countless types of fish. Some examples include yellowtail, salmon and tilapia just to name a few. I have a full list on my blog if you want to know more. Once it's cut, place the pieces in a sealable bag and add 2 teaspoons of soy sauce and 2 teaspoons of mirin. Gently massage it over the cord to evenly distribute it and then seal it up and marinate it in the fridge for about 10 minutes. After 10 minutes, start heating your oil to 180 degrees Celsius, that's 356 degrees Fahrenheit. While we wait for the oil to heat up, we're going to coat the coat in a generous layer of cornstarch. The cornstarch is going to create a light crust on the coat, which not only creates a great texture, but also helps the teriyak sauce to stick better when we add it later. You can use potato starch or tapioca starch for this too. I recommend starch over regular flour because it's lighter. Okay, once the oil is hot, place the cod pieces in and fry for about two minutes on each side. I'm shallow frying them, but feel free to deep fry it if you prefer. Be careful not to overcrowd oil because this can bring the temperature down too much. I'm frying these in two batches. Because I'm using gas stove, it can be tricky to maintain the right temperature. The red dot you see from time to time is my contactless cooking thermometer. It's a great kitchen gadget for making sure the oil isn't too hot and also making sure foods are cooked through. Once the cut is beautifully golden and cooked all the way through, transfer them to a wire rack to drain the excess oil. Now we're going to move on to making the homemade teriyaki. So grab a new pan and add two tablespoons of soy sauce. 2 tablespoons of mirin, 2 tablespoons of sake, 2 tablespoons of dashi, 2 teaspoons of sugar, and a teaspoon of honey. Mix them all together while the pan is still cold and make sure to use wooden cooking utensils so that you don't scratch your pan. Turn on the heat to medium high and let it bubble for one or two minutes. It should thicken a little bit. Add the cut pieces and then gently mix them around until they're evenly coated with the sauce. Finally, remove the pan from the heat and serve. Sprinkle the teriyak cut with chopped green onions and sesame seeds. Thanks a lot for watching, I hope you enjoyed the recipe and if you want to learn more, check out the written version on my blog. The link is in the description. Have a great day.